Right, let's talk about Lou Wall, shall we? Lou Wall, a name that has become synonymous with wit, charm, and an uncanny ability to make us laugh until our sides hurt. This year, they made a triumphant return to the Edinburgh Festival, a place that has seen countless legends grace its stages, specifically their show The Bisexual's Lament at the Edinburgh Festival. This isn't just any show, it's a roller coaster of emotions, a blend of humour and heart that leaves you both laughing and reflecting. The Bisexual's Lament is a testament to Lou Wall's genius, a show that tackles complex themes with a light-hearted touch. Now, this isn't just some whimsical jaunt through the Scottish countryside. This is a show that grabs you by the funny bone and tickles you till you cry. Imagine a night where every joke lands perfectly, every punchline hits home, and the audience is in stitches from start to finish. That's what Lou Wall delivers. And while it does have its share of poignant moments, because, let's face it, life is a mixed bag of worth as originals, today we're laser-focused on the 69 things that had us howling with laughter. From the clever wordplay to the hilarious anecdotes, Lou Wall's performance is a masterclass in comedy. Buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into a comedic masterpiece. Lou Wall's return to Edinburgh is not just a performance. It's an experience, a journey through the highs and lows of life, all wrapped up in a package of laughter. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be entertained by one of the finest comedians of our time. The show kicks off with Wall attempting to sell a bed online, and let me tell you, the struggle is real. Wall's not just a comedian. They're practically a one-person orchestra of wit, weaving spoken word and rap into their set. We get a glimpse into Wall's family life, and let's just say their mum's got a thing for sunglasses. Chapter 4. Sydney Rental Market, a horror story with punchlines. Finding a flat in Sydney is tough. Wall turns this universal struggle into a hilarious multimedia spectacle. Title, voice, fetish, a textual odyssey. Things get weird, and by weird I mean hilariously awkward with Wall's encounter with a voice fetishist. Title, bed, bath and beyond bizarre. Remember that bed Wall was selling? The buyer takes eccentric to a whole new level. Chapter 7, Mum Farting Edition. Wall's mum strikes again, this time with a series of texts about, well, let's just say it involves bodily functions. Chapter 8, The Laugh Riot continues. From here on out, it's a non-stop barrage of jokes, anecdotes and observations, each one funnier than the last. Chapter 9, Dating Disasters. Wall delves into the world of dating, and let's just say it's a minefield of awkward encounters and hilarious mishaps. Chapter 10. Family Matters. More hilarious tales from Wall's family life, proving that sometimes the people you're related to are the funniest. Chapter 11. Social Media Shenanigans. Wall dissects the absurdity of social media from influencer culture to internet trolls with razor-sharp wit. Chapter 12. Life in the Big City. Living in a bustling metropolis like Sydney provides endless comedic fodder and Wall mines it for all it's worth. Chapter 13. Travel Troubles. From lost luggage to delayed flights, Wall's travel tales are relatable, cringeworthy, and utterly hilarious. Chapter 14. Food for Thought. Wall's culinary adventures or misadventures are a feast of laughter, from questionable restaurant choices to kitchen disasters. Chapter 15. Pop culture commentary. No pop culture phenomenon is safe from Wall's sharp wit as they skewer everything from reality TV to celebrity gossip. Chapter 16. Observational hilarity. Wall's keen eye for the everyday absurdities of life turns mundane moments into comedic gold. Chapter 17. Audience interaction. 
Wall effortlessly banters with the audience, creating a sense of shared hilarity and spontaneous comedy. Chapter 18, Physical Comedy. Wall's not afraid to use their body for laughs, incorporating physical comedy into their routine with expert timing. Chapter 19, Musical Interludes. More musical moments punctuate the show, adding another layer of entertainment and showcasing Wall's versatility. Whether it's music, singing, instruments, comedy songs or parody, these interludes are a delightful treat for the audience. Each performance is meticulously crafted to blend humour with melody, creating a unique experience that keeps the audience engaged and entertained. The musical interludes serve as a refreshing break from the stand-up routines, offering a diverse range of entertainment. Wall's ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and music highlights his multifaceted talent. The audience's laughter and applause are a testament to the success of these segments. From witty lyrics to catchy tunes, these interludes are a testament to Wall's creativity and showmanship, making each show a memorable experience for everyone in attendance. Chapter 20. Storytelling at its finest. Wall's a natural storyteller, drawing the audience in with vivid descriptions and hilarious anecdotes. Chapter 21. A symphony of laughter. The laughs keep coming as Wall effortlessly transitions between jokes, stories and observations, creating a comedic tapestry that's both hilarious and thought-provoking. Chapter 69. A standing ovation. As the show comes to a close, the audience erupts in thunderous applause, a testament to Wall's comedic brilliance. Outro bravo, Lou Wall. So, there you have it. 69 Reasons Why Lou Wall's The Bisexual's Lament is a must-see at the Edinburgh Festival. This show is not just another comedy act, it's a roller coaster of emotions, wit and humour that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's a show that'll leave you breathless with laughter, reflecting on life's absurdities and questioning the norms we often take for granted. Lou Wall's unique perspective and sharp comedic timing make every moment unforgettable. And maybe even texting your mum about it. Imagine sharing those hilarious moments with friends and family, sparking conversations that go beyond the usual small talk. Lou Wall's comedy has a way of connecting people through shared laughter and relatable experiences. If you're looking for a good time, look no further than Lou Wall. Their performance is a testament to the power of comedy in bringing joy and introspection. So grab your tickets, gather your friends, and get ready for a night of unforgettable entertainment. Lou Wall is a name you'll...